I'm David Pope. Now you may remember a while back that I reviewed something called the Fly Pen. It's a digital pen intended for kids. Well, technically, I didn't review it. My kid did. Have a look. It's a ballpoint pen with the camera underneath to see what you draw. Like you can draw a piano keyboard and it comes to life. But don't worry, Dad. It's educational. Big red puppy. Four, three, divided by. Well, guess what? The guy behind the fly pen and the technology behind it are both back with a new pen intended for grown-ups. Here's my take on it. You know, the history of the pen is a fairly short one. You had your stone tablets, your feather quill, your fountain pen, and your ballpoint. But a company called LiveScribe thinks it might be time to bring the pen into the digital age. This is the Pulse Pen, and it's the smartest smart pen yet. Into this tiny thing, they've managed to cram a microphone, a surprisingly loud and clear speaker, a screen that shows text and even graphics, and even a tiny camera. These special notebooks are imprinted with tiny, tiny micro dots that tell the camera where you are on the page. So what's the point of all this? The Pulse Pen's big trick is recording audio and your handwriting simultaneously and then associating the two. It's a big, big deal for reporters or students or anyone else who needs to take written notes about an experience. Suppose, for example, that I'm, uh, I don't know, say, uh, a psychiatrist. So let's see. That seems to be the problem, my good man. I, I, I can't make decisions. I mean, I get up in the morning starving for breakfast. It takes me an hour just to decide what to wear. By the time I come downstairs, it's already past 12 o'clock. I don't even know what to eat for lunch. I go through my whole day. I don't know what to do. I, can't, I could do this, I could do that. You know, I was in politics most of my life. I was very good. Then I get scared of things. I, I see, you know, I have a fear, a, a fear of women. They love me. They just love me. And I see it. I, I bumped into women. They, they smile. They smile at me. I know they want me. And I don't want to be around them. My whole life I've been like this. It's very, very difficult. Very lonely. Now, here's the cool part. Later on, I can tap each of my notes and hear the audio recorded while I was writing that note. Like this. I go crazy. I don't know what to do. You know, I was in politics most of my life. I was very, very good, by the way. I have a fear, a, a fear of women. They love me, they just love me. And I, you don't know how really, how difficult it is. And then my teeth hurt, you know, I got toothaches all the time. Now, if I put the pen in the recharging cradle, my notes and the audio associated with it get transferred to my Windows PC. From here, I can even upload it to the web where other people can click my notes to hear the audio even though they don't have the pen. Now, the company hopes that the Pulse Pen will become a big deal with software companies writing programs for it. At the moment, though, it just comes with a couple of simple demo programs to show you the possibilities. Like, there's this little calculator, and there's a little musical keyboard program. At the moment, though, the Pen's one real trick is that business about recording audio and your handwriting at the same time, a trick it does very well. It's a little buggy, it's a little hard to figure out. So if you're the sort of person who prefers handwriting your notes to typing them, you'll probably love it. If not, until those additional programs come along, well, the Pulse Smart Pen is, um... Nothing to write home about.